The USB Signal Master is a generic platform on which you can put different instruments. We have four different slots on which you can put either analog or digital instruments. Um, essentially, it starts with the software. You have your personal computer where you run your software and to view your different in the different instrumentation from your instrument. For instance, your oscilloscope waveforms or your arbitrary waveform settings. From the software, you interface over USB to a custom six-layer circuit board that we designed containing an FPGA and DDR2 memory, in addition with an FTDI USB converter and a 500 mega sample ADC. And connected to this motherboard are our different instrument modules. One of our modules is an oscilloscope with a 200 megahertz bandwidth. On each of our modules, we have a PIC microcontroller that controls the analog levels of each of our settings. Um, in addition, we also have a logic analyzer that's an 11-bit logic analyzer with a 151 megahertz bandwidth, or otherwise 302, um, 302 megabits or 151 megahertz. We designed a custom metal and silicone enclosure for our device, as you can see here. We designed it all in SolidWorks and used a 3D printer to actually rapidly prototype it. We also designed a custom enclosure for a logic analyzer seen here. We decided that a form factor, a, a small form factor for it, is extremely important in the ergonomics of our device. The last module of our device is an arbitrary waveform generator. Um, the whole point of this project is we wanted to create some high performance modules at a reasonable cost. So Texas Instruments actually helped a lot with this design because when I was, part selection is a very important process in any kind of electrical engineering design and it happened that the best performance parts for the cost were Texas Instruments parts for our arbitrary waveform generator. Um, we found in the digital to analog converter is the DAC 904 and this family of parts is 200 mega samples and it also um, ha has pin compatible form factor so you can change between 8 to 14 bits of resolution with very easily so it's very easy to um, change between um, performance and cost. <laughs> um, other components that we found useful was um, we have a very robust output amplifier that allowed us to really that that's really the key to our high performance of the arbitrary waveform generator. The THS 3091 output amplifier allows our, our product to output plus or minus 10 volts and it can handle short circuiting conditions. Um, it's, also, it's also able to work up to 24 megahertz um, and that's its 3 dB bandwidth.